So you're going to be mad, but I lied in the last video again. We are going to be fishing <laughs> today. It's only going to be for a little bit. Um, I know I had mentioned that we were getting a little bit short on funds. So if it was going to rain, we'd probably have to do a little bit of catfishing. So, and that's, that's kind of what happened. So it's not too bad. It's one day. I'll edit it down and uh, and we'll be able to move on. So here we go. And then before we set off, we'll kind of take a look at what our goals are for these two days. Um, like I said, today we're just going to fish and it's just because we need the money for the vault. But after that, on, on the 13th, we're going to skip the whole festival because that'll be... I don't know, it's just not necessary for this run. You can do strawberries if you want to. I just don't like them. Um, I don't know, I'm allergic to them in real life, so maybe that's why. <laughs> Which is like the most annoying allergy. Um, I'll still eat them, but it like makes my mouth itchy. Anyway, um, so we'll just be in the mines and hopefully get up to floor 80, uh, craft up to four more furnaces, and just start farming copper and iron to make our sprinklers for our farm. And that's pretty much it. Um, fishing won't be very intense today. I have the full day. I know I'll probably get as many catfish as I need. So it's just a matter of getting it done and checking it off the list. So that's what we're doing. Um, it's good that rain happened today, especially with my luck being kind of low. Um, otherwise, you know, we would have had to potentially take a good luck day and go fishing when we should be in the mines or the caverns. Well, not the caverns so much, but the mines. Also, I put this song in here twice in a row. Um, it's super short and I've never heard it before because it plays in the movie theater, but it's so good. Like I wish this was somewhere else in the game because it's like one of my favorites easily. Like it's a little more upbeat, but man, it's a jam. It's called like, it's called the Wombus song, which I guess that statue, the little green guy is Wombus, but I never have watched any of the movies in uh, Stardew, so I'm actually not really sure <laughs> what, uh, what it means, you know? But yeah, it's just so short. Um, it's so short and just good. So I threw it in here just twice. <laughs> figure while I'm fishing and watching fishing I might as well listen to something good um, and yeah as you can see I got like 10 catfish which I think is worth a pretty massive amount and I got a perfect catfish which is nuts um, I'd say I average like one perfect catfish every like 10 runs or something like it never happens they're so funky you know and hard to just hard to stick on you know so i thought that was kind of nice but yeah otherwise just a regular day fishing nothing crazy happening um i always leave at midnight just because catfish stop spawning at midnight so it's really not that valuable to fish and then yeah so i'll just you know head back to the farm and clean up or you know burn the rest of the time I don't have to sell anything yet, so I'm just going to hold on hold on to those fish until I'm ready to do like a full community center turn in kind of thing. I want to turn in the you know, basically all the bundles at once that I need. So I'll turn in the spring crops, the spring forage, all of the um, minecart bundles at once, and all of the vault bundles at the same time. And then whatever other little items I can fit in my inventory. Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll find out later on if we got enough money. But this just kind of gets us closer to where we can probably make it happen no matter what. Because um, we also have to finish level 120 in the mines. Because we need to get the key to get into the skull cavern. So that could hold us back too. So we'll just let the fish be and hope we have enough money. I don't want to do more math to see if I made enough. 
and we'll just kind of let chance take its course, I guess. And then hopefully we'll get good luck for the mines. This is annoying when this happens, when the cat like blocks your path to the bed. Um, but yeah, hopefully we get a good luck day. And uh, I mean, ideally like pyramid are better. And we got, so we got perfect, which is really nice. Or not necessarily perfect, but the highest tier. Um, we don't have to water, like I said before, so we can just skip all that. And yeah, we could just pretty much spend our whole day in the mines. You know, like always, we'll smelt and um, do all that business as usual, but mostly just mining. And um, I've been kind of debating whether or not to leave like full mines days in, just because they're not necessarily the most like dynamic thing. It's a lot of just breaking rocks, you know? <laughs> And a lot of the time, nothing too crazy happens. And unless I'm doing like a really specific strategy, there's not really a whole lot of nuance to, to what I'm doing. And that will kind of change with Skull Caverns. But with the basic mines, I mean, I think at this point, I'll probably leave them all in because I'm only maybe two days away from reaching the bottom. But I guess for the future, I'd be curious to know if this is another thing that you think ought to be sped up. Or, you know, like phased through. And then, if I always use the forest sword, I really like it. Um, I like swords in general, even though clubs are better. But it's what I like. It's just a personal preference thing. And then hopefully with good luck, like we can move relatively quickly. And you know what, I think I am gonna Maybe like run this at like 150% just to kind of see what it feels like. It's kind of one of those things where you can't necessarily like watch it and follow along. So maybe the a little increased speed won't be too bad. And it also kind of makes it feel like I'm in like using animation canceling when I'm like watching it back, <laughs> which is kind of nice. I mean, I'll run the first couple Skull Caverns runs at regular speed, so you can see like what my general strategy is in there. I know some people struggle a lot with that particular part of the game, just with like the serpents being so erratic and damaging, and just a lot of the stuff in there. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But for now, I mean, we're making pretty good time. You can, like, again, like, the Egg Festival just started. You can do this until, like, what is it, 12.30? I think it starts at 1 o'clock, so you can do this and then walk down and still go to the festival and go the strawberry route if you want to. It can, it's totally doable, because as long as you can afford the strawberries, you can still get your level 6 farming, which is the main goal of all the kale anyway. So you can totally do it, it's just, you lose a whole day of mining, so depending on where you're at, that strategy can be viable, but it also can not work, and in my case it didn't work, so. That, and I don't know, I don't like doing the egg hunt. I've done that thing so many times, and the straw hat isn't my favorite, so. I'll just do this. I know strawberries are considered to be pretty much the best spring crop, but best is so relative when it comes to this game like i think this is the best way to play it but you know it's it's just as fun to you know play it super casually and chill and not even do community center stuff until the second year so do whatever you'd like i think a big thing with the mines to really uh, move through the quickest is basically ignoring anything that's too far away like even if you see a bunch of copper like just off screen it's not really worth chasing down like you really want to speed your way down no matter what and that's basically the strategy I use in skull caverns too like I always make my way towards interesting nodes but if a ladder pops up beforehand I'm not gonna go super out of my way there's those little 
that little bit of time adds up. Like, what is it? Every 10 minutes is 7 seconds. So your day really isn't that long. You're looking at about 20 minutes total if you're not fishing, so. It's just a matter of speeding down, especially for these dark floors, which I think are everybody's least favorite floors. You can't see anything. If you don't have a glow ring, it's a real pain to find ladders and I just try and get through as fast as I can. And I got the slingshot, which I know a lot of people use a lot. I don't really like it, and that's because I play with the controller. But a slingshot with explosive ammunition, like later on in the game in Skull Caverns, is probably your most valuable tool. But I just... Using it on the controller is pretty unreliable. It takes a little bit longer, it's harder to aim. And, uh, I don't know. That's my own personal hang-up, though, I think. And then, yeah, I think I mentioned before, but bat wings are really valuable. You'll probably see me kill just about every single bat I come across. Just because you need lightning rods in summer pretty early. I'll want to build, like, 15 or 20 of them as soon as I can, so... I think each one requires like two bat wings or five bat wings, something crazy, so. And then those guys, um, the dust sprites. I probably will come back here and farm those at some point. Just for coal and for the burglar's ring. You need to kill like 500 of them and it takes forever. But I might wait until I have monster musk or at least a floor that's infested. You know, just so you can take them out a little bit easier. So it takes a while to kill 500 of them. But the burglar's ring is really valuable. Especially when it comes to getting like solar essences. Which tends to be one of the things I run out of the most. For making like mega bombs and, and things like that. Oh yeah. I don't know, we're supposed to have like a really cold and rainy week coming up. Not cold, it's going to be like 55, 60, but cold for how the weather's been, so. I kind of feel like that energy is already in the air for me. <laughs> like I feel very tired and lethargic lately. But I don't know, it'll be nice for plants. Like it, it's going to delay our outdoor planting by a couple days, but I think it'll still be nice. Like, we haven't had any rain for almost the entire month of April. So now that it's May, it, it's nice to actually get a little something. Even though I'd rather it be, you know, 80 degrees so I can get everything in the ground. We, uh, pretty much, I don't know, I was talking about this before, but like everything is flowering, right? Even our tomatoes have started flowering. Um, even the ones in the, the smaller or the bigger pots, which is kind of nice because we'll have early tomatoes and they're non, they're like cherry tomatoes, so they keep growing even if they're flowering. Um, so it'll be nice to have like early harvests this year for the first time, instead of having all of our harvests in like late August like we normally do. So I'm excited about that. Um, so yeah, so shifting back to the game um i'm doing a little bit of like copper farming now just because i need to make sure i have all 20 of the sprinklers i need uh, i think by ideally today or tomorrow and that way i don't have to do any manual watering and i can just craft all the sprinklers place them and be done with it for at least the rest of spring because after spring is over we'll we'll really want to upgrade everything to quality sprinklers But yeah, floor 20 is the best, or 21. You can usually get through it pretty quick. Um, a lot of copper nodes on the 21 and then a lot on 22. So that's what I usually do. And then floor 60, I think. No, 40. 40 or 60, I guess. Uh, is really good for farming iron ore, in my opinion. And then 80 for gold because 
it's another one of the situations where it's a small room and you can just reset over and over again. And this is one of the rare cases I didn't take that early ladder just because I need the coal at the cart at the end of this um, level. But yeah. I also never really break crates until I get to Skull Caverns. There can be some good things, like if there's a big concentration, I'll break them. But most of the time, I don't really feel like it's worth it. Like you might get a new weapon, but it's so rare. Oh, and then ghosts. Ghosts I'll always kill because it's an early solar essence. And you need those for community center as well as mega bombs. So they're worth getting. They're kind of frustrating because the knockback pushes them so far away. So it's not always the most time efficient, but I'll still kill them. Except I guess the ghosts in Skull Caverns I don't touch though because they just give you Omni Geodes. And I feel like you end up with hundreds of those things that you don't actually need. So I don't need to bother with the ghosts, even though they can drop um, refined quartz too. And yeah, so just, I guess I'm glad I sped this up because it's a lot of me farming back and forth. I'm just trying to get a couple extra copper. And yeah, so I'll leave these furnaces here and I'll smelt them overnight, but I'll take them back with me and set them up on the farm when I finally reach the bottom of the caverns. I didn't get nearly as far as I wanted to today, but I got a lot of copper and I got a lot of iron, so I'm still doing okay on my goals. I won't have to farm as heavily tomorrow. And uh, I should be able to move down. I think the 15th is like a good cutoff date for finishing stuff up and moving into like, I don't want to say mid game, but like sort of mid game when it comes to the, the min max strategy. I think if you're going to do this style of farming, I'd really recommend turning your sound off just because the elevator ding back and forth can get pretty old. Uh, especially if you're doing like geode farming or something like that. Um, yeah, it's just a ding over and over and over again. It's not the best sound in the world. Um, I try to do as little editing as possible in these videos. Like for things like that, like I'm not going to edit out the dings and I don't really edit a lot of time, but like right here I edited this part and hopefully you can't tell, but I sat at the elevator menu for like two minutes. I don't know why I probably got up and did something, but it's, uh, I don't know. I try not to edit too much. I try to keep it as like transparent as possible on what I'm doing. But I don't know. Sometimes you can see little tiny edits. You'll see the little hand like not have its animation right. And that's probably because I cut something out. And most of the time it's just not necessary. It's just for the quality of life, I guess. You don't want to see the menu for two minutes straight for no reason. Um, and so yeah, I'm passing out again. I probably leveled up in mining or combat, so I don't have to worry about sleeping. And then again, just taking home everything that is either valuable or rare, I guess. And that way I don't have to come back up here and you know, grab all my stuff later on. I should grab the bars. I don't know why I don't have the, maybe I am going to. Usually I'll grab the bars and make them into sprinklers before I head back. And that way it only takes up one inventory spot. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, it takes up one inventory spot and in the morning I can just place nine sprinklers and head back up to the mines. So that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this, this episode. I'll be back in the caverns again, or the mines, sorry. But, yes, oh, this is a huge mistake I made. Like, look at all those iron ore rocks, and I can't take a single one because <laughs> my inventory was full. But anyway, whatever. Um, thanks for watching. We'll be in the mines again next week, so, or next episode. See ya.